Many young entrepreneurs dream of the day they'll be able to buy their first luxury vehicle. Putting in their long hours, answering emails at the break of dawn, skipping nights out so they can work instead. They think it'll all be worth it when they smell that new car leather, hear those tires on the road, and feel the wind whipping through their hair, if it's a convertible, that is. Luxury cars are a prized possession and an end goal for many. Some people collect them like baseball cards, setting up million-dollar garages to keep them safe from the elements, so it's no wonder why the Dubai supercar graveyard is a tragic sight for so many. Thousands upon thousands of million-dollar cars collecting sand in the unbearable desert heat, their engines being destroyed with every passing day and not a single owner in sight. Today, we're going to talk about how the Dubai supercar graveyard came to be, what cars can be found inside it, and mourn the fact that we can't rescue them all. On average, two to 3,000 cars are abandoned in Dubai every single year. And these aren't just Honda Civics. These are Porsches, Ferraris, Rolls Royces, and Lamborghinis just wasting away on the streets. But buckle your seatbelt, because we'll dive into some of the specific cars a little later, including one that's worth over $6 million. In the United States, normally when you see an abandoned car, it's a 1980 junker rotting in a field somewhere. But in Dubai, the locals are incredibly accustomed to strolling by cars worth a half a million dollars or more that are completely covered in sand. And even writing wash me in the dust just doesn't quite cut it here. But why are these cars abandoned exactly? Well, for quite a few reasons. In the United Arab Emirates up until 2016, under Sharia law, debt was a criminal offense that meant jail time. There were no bankruptcy laws, which meant no protection for people who got in a little over their heads. And there were and still are a lot of individuals getting in over their heads. Dubai is a city known for being luxurious. Young entrepreneurs feel as though they have to step up to the plate and rival already established business people. That means staying in the fancy hotels, dining at the expensive restaurants, and showing up to all these meetings in cars that cost more than the down payment on a house. The culture is incredibly tied to luxury and wealth, so it only makes sense that individuals would try to walk that walk. Unfortunately, not all businesses' plans work out. Some people run out of cash and can't pay for the expensive houses and cars they bought when money was flowing. In most countries, that's stressful, but survivable. But in Dubai, this means trouble. Debt regularly lands people in prison, and prison isn't a place you want to be in the United Arab Emirates. It's frequently reported that police stations are overcrowded. Prisoners aren't given individual beds. Beatings, sexual assault, and forced starvation are in incredibly common. When one prison was surveyed in the mid-2000s, the capacity was revealed to be at 178%. And that's not counting the rats that cozy up in the cellars either. Foreign nationals made up 92% of the prison population, many of which were once business people looking to make a fortune in Dubai. That all being said, it makes sense that people would fear going to prison in Dubai so much. And when something as simple as a one-year missed payment or a bounced check can lead to prison in time, it's no wonder why so many people flee the country. And when people flee the country, they've got to leave everything behind. That's why so many expensive cars are left in airport parking lots. In fact, almost all the abandoned cars are left there. There are cars left with the keys in the ignition, cars left with maxed out credit cards in the driver's seat, and even cars left with apology notes on the windshield. The owners of these cars hop on a plane, heading back to their native country to escape punishment for their debts. In 2008 and 2009, the car graveyards began to reach their peak. When the economy crashed around the world, the United Arab Emirates was hit particularly hard. Jobs that used to earn six figures were suddenly non-existent. Oil was selling for dirt cheap. Imports and exports weren't flowing like they used to, and thousands of people were forced to flee to escape their debts. And that, my dear viewers, is how you end up with luxury car graveyards that look like this. You may wonder why people in debt didn't just sell their cars, but unfortunately, owners can transfer ownership of the cars until the loan is paid off. Because of that, after these unpaid cars are abandoned, they can sit in parking lots for 5, 10, even 15 years before anything happens to them. Cars are only moved if they are obstructing traffic or creating a hazard, which means they often clog up parking lots and shopping centers around the country. Some of these cars are taken and 
auctioned off. Cars that once sold for a quarter of a million dollars are sold at auctions for pennies on the dollar. People flock to these auctions, but they aren't always in luck. Many of the cars have been sitting in the sand so long that they're just downright inoperable. However, there are many people that see the opportunity in these luxury car graveyards. In 2019, a company called Hush Hush put out an advertisement looking for a supercar scout they could send to Dubai. The job entailed flying to Dubai, living in the city, and searching through these car graveyards to find cars worth buying and saving. However, it's not as easy as finding a car you want and buying it. This job also means investigating to find the original owner of the car and negotiating with them. Since the original owners fled due to crime, it's not exactly an easy task. Regardless, the job pays $30,000 per year plus commission and gives you a chance to stand in the desert and look at incredible cars. And what cars are in this graveyard exactly? Perhaps the most well-known car of all is the Ferrari Enzo that to this day is wasting away in a garage in Dubai. There were only 400 Ferrari Enzos ever made between 2002 and 2004, making it one of the most sought-after cars in the world. The final Ferrari Enzo ever made sold at an auction for $6.6 .6 million, and almost all of them sell between two to three million. So how did a Ferrari Enzo get dumped in Dubai? Well, it was left behind by a British expat who started working in Dubai. As the economy crashed, he fell into debt and ended up leaving his entire life behind in the city, including the car worth millions of dollars. For years, the car was sitting by the airport out in the sun, but more recently, it was moved to an indoor facility, and though I've asked around, there's no word on it being auctioned off anytime soon. The two-seat luxury vehicle has a minimalist interior and plenty of impressive hardware. With a top speed of 221 miles an hour and the ability to go from 0 to 60 in 3.14 seconds, <laughs> it's truly tragic to see it wasting away in a garage. However, that Enzo isn't the only impressive Ferrari sitting in Dubai. It was recently documented that a 2015 Ferrari California T was moved into one of the indoor facilities. Priced at around $100,000, the Ferrari California T is a much-loved car that can zip from 0 to 60 in 3.5 seconds. Though the sleek interior and convertible aspect are a huge draw for many fans, including myself. However, when the car goes to auction eventually, bidding is expected to start around 30000 On a good day, a prospective buyer can scoop up this $100,000 car for forty, even $35,000. While the graveyard situation is tragic, it does have its benefits for the person who's in the right place at the right time. And as they say, one man's trash is another man's treasure. One of the most popular cars left behind happens to be a Rolls-Royce Wraith, which usually sell for around two hundred to three hundred thousand dollars. They're known for being a driver-oriented car, with dozens of luxury touches to make riding as smooth as possible. So at least we know the previous owner's drive to the airport was done in comfort. So there you have it: the history of the Dubai supercar graveyard and all the poor luxury cars that are decaying inside. So, who wants to come dumpster diving with me out in Dubai? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Oh, and turn on post notifications. As always, I'm Mr. Luxury. Pip-pip to doodly-doo.